What's going on guys? ChatGPT recently launched their new feature which is custom GPTs and people have been going crazy with them. So in this video I'm going to talk through how to make your own custom GPT and what others have been doing. What is a custom GPT? Popping over to OpenAI's blog post about the new feature, their intention is to allow us to really dial in ChatGPT to be really good at a specific task or set of tasks. Let's take a look at a couple of examples to get the gears turning in your head, and then we'll create our own GPT. The first one is called Healthy Chef, and this is a recipe creator with visual and nutritional insights. So what I did is ask it to create me its best celiac friendly dinner dish. And as you can see, it gave me a picture of what it will look like along with all the nutritional info. And then it even says, you know, if you want the instructions on how to prepare these, please ask. Next, we have Designer GPT. This one creates and hosts websites based on a simple sentence or paragraph of text. So what I did is ask it to design me a web page for my Trevor's Take YouTube channel. And you can see with just that one sentence, if I click here, it made me an entire web page. And then lastly, we have Simpsonize Me. So this one turns photos into Simpson style art. And as you can imagine, I had to try it out. I gave it a picture of me snowboarding on a mountain and it gave me my Simpson profile picture. So that's pretty cool. Now that you have an idea of what these custom GPTs do, let's pop over and make our own. So what we're gonna do is go to um, explore with ChatGPT, and on the top, you will now see this option to create a GPT. You'll see that there are two tabs on the left, so there's create and there's configure. And then on the right, we have a preview of what the user would see if they're using our GPT, and we can even put in text prompts as well. If we were to use this create tab, we would chat back and forth with the GPT builder and it would ask us the questions necessary to fill in this configure section. But what my preference is, it's just to dive straight into configure. Our GPT is going to be a YouTube video creator. And what it's going to do is take a video idea and length from the user and create everything necessary for the YouTube video. And you can see as we fill in things on the left, it is taking them over to the preview on the right side here. The instructions are kind of the meat and potatoes of the GPT. So I have mine pre-written and basically what you want to do here is tell the GPT exactly what to do. In this case, we're telling the GPT that the prompt is going to be the video concept in the approximate length. So for example, the user would type how to create a private mid journey server five minute video. And then from there, what we want the GPT to do is number one, generate a video outline, research online for the latest information from a lot of different sources. Number two, what I have here is a stop that asks the user to confirm that they like that outline before the GPT moves any further. The third thing, you know, after they do confirm, it's gonna draft a video script with dialogue. It's going to suggest SEO strategies. It's gonna create an SEO optimized title and description. And then lastly, it's gonna suggest tags and hashtags for that video. The conversation starters are those boxes that pop up as suggestions for the user. So in this case, let's just make a video idea and we'll do how to bake a cake five minutes the next section knowledge is important it allows you to upload files with any important information that you want added into the processing for your gpt so in our case i'm adding information about the youtube youtube algorithm and then what a roll video versus b roll video is so that the GPT is a little bit more accurate when it's answering questions. The next couple of checkboxes tells the GPT what features that you want it to be able to use. So web browsing, DALI 3 image generation, and then code interpreter. 
I left all these things on, but you can uncheck them if it's doing one of these things that you prefer it doesn't. Lastly, we have actions. This is very exciting, but a bit complicated. We're gonna gloss over this today, but in a future video, I'm gonna have some examples of what you can do with this action section. Going back to OpenAI's blog, you can see these actions allow developers to connect their GPTs to the real world. So some examples that they give is making the GPT your shopping assistant. You could integrate travel listings, databases. You could connect um, like a Microsoft Outlook email inbox to your GPT. There are so many potential um, applications, but again, we'll go over that a little bit further in another video. So with our GPT built, let's test it out. Let's just use the example that we made for our conversation starter and click it and we'll see exactly what the GPT does. Here is a result. As you can see, it made us an entire outline with segments and then even times for each. It has A roll and B roll. And then at the end here, it's asking us if we want to proceed with the rest of the SEO and uh, script for the video. So I'm asking it to proceed and it's gonna go ahead and make the rest of the content as well. So as you can see, it's providing us narration for each segment of the outline. And we got SEO strategies as well. So you can see the keywords. Uh, I guess buttercream must be a popular cake right now. And then we get the SEO optimized title and description as well. If we want any changes at all to what it does or how it does it, you can always either go to your instructions and change those, or you can even go back to create and let the GPT know that I want the video narration to be funnier. And it's gonna take that into consideration and update the GPT to do that. Great, so it made that change for me. Do note that it did change you know, the entire format of the instructions, they still look very similar. It's just in paragraph format now. And then as a final touch, you can also use Dolly 3 to generate a profile picture for your GPT, or you can upload your own photo as well. There is the final product. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more.